The Magic is Inside You by Kathy Demoni, read by Ava Goulet. Madeline was six years old. She was a sunshiny girl. She was smiley, giggly, and bouncy, and she was loved by many people. I love you, Madeline, her daddy called. You always try your best. Well done, Madeline, said Miss Poppet, her teacher. You are so scrumptious. We love you so much, whispered her mummy. These words of love made the light inside of Madeline shine brightly, brighter than the stars twinkling in the sky. They made her feel like she was floating in a rainbow bubble high into the sun-filled air. They made her feel happy, like she could fly to the moon in a rocket ship. Yes, Madeline was a very happy little girl, most of the time. Madeline had a secret friend called Maddie. Maddie's voice was exactly like Madeline's, but just a little bit smaller. Maddie was wonderful. But because she told Madeline fantastic things. When Madeline listened to Maddie, she felt very good about herself. Maddie said, Madeline, you always try your best. You are so brave. And Madeline did feel brave. Madeline, you are getting better and better at reading every day. Keep practicing. Well done. And Madeline did get better and better at reading. Madeline, you are so good at trying with your sums. Look how many you got right. Well done. You are learning so quickly. And Madeline did get better at her sums. Madeline, so many people want to be your friend because you are so clever, kind, and funny. And more people did want to play with Madeline because she smiled more, laughed more. The light inside of her shone brightly, and she was fun to be around. Madeline liked listening to Maddie. It made her feel brave, happy, fantastic, sparkly, shiny, special as tall as a tree, clever, amazing, talented, colorful, important, bright, like a beautiful firework bursting in the night sky, smiley, wonderful, strong, unique, loved, safe, as spectacular as a butterfly. Madeline liked listening to Maddie. It made her feel like she could do anything, and the light inside her was shine as brightly as the sun. Madeline also had a secret friend called Midge. Midge's voice was exactly like Madeline's, but just a little bit smaller. Midge was not a very good friend to have at all. Midge told Madeline horrible lies. When Madeline listened to Midge, she worried and did not feel good about herself. Midge told Madeline, this book is too hard. You can't read it. You're not as good at sums as you thought. And Madeline became less confident at reading and doing her sums. You're stupid and ugly. Nobody wants to be your friend. And fewer children wanted to play with Madeline because she didn't smile or laugh very much. And the light inside of her was growing dim. She wasn't as much fun to be around and she felt as though she was standing under a big gray sky. She felt as if her tummy was crawling with bugs of all shapes and sizes wriggling around inside her, making her as sad and heavy as a rain cloud, gray, grumpy, frightened, as quiet as a mouse, invisible, tearful, 
nervous, as lost as a feather on a stormy wind, ugly, flat, lonely, afraid, as scared as a tortoise hiding in a shell, as tiny as an ant, like a sad, saggy balloon that has lost all of its air. Madeline did not like listening to Midge. Midge made Madeline feel useless and upset. Madeline felt very tired, and Midge started to talk to her more than usual. Midge talked and talked and just wouldn't stop. All of the sad and horrible things that Midge said started to fill Madeline's head. This made Madeline feel dizzy and ill. Madeline listened and believed all of the nasty things that Midge said. You're not good enough, Madeline. You're really a joke. You are rubbish. Nobody likes you. Madeline had trouble sleeping and she could not think clearly. She snapped at the people around her and she cried for no reason. Soon Madeline could not hear Maddie's voice clearly at all. One day, Madeline felt so upset and lost that she climbed up into her mummy's lap. Madeline told mummy how unhappy and scared she felt. Mummy, I wish I knew a magic spell to get rid of Midge so that I could only listen to Maddie's kind words. I am worried that the light inside of me has gone out. She buried her head into her mummy and she cried and cried. Sweetheart, you need to listen to me now because I have a very important secret to tell you. I know the magic to make Midge go away, said Mummy. Madeline gasped. What could the secret be? Madeline leaned in close and listened carefully to what Mummy had to say. The magic is inside you, Madeline. Madeline felt confused, but then Mummy told her something truly amazing. The magic is that all you have to do is stop listening to Midge's lies. This will take away her power and she will start to disappear. Soon she will be gone and the light inside of you will shine like the brightest of stars. Right then and there, from that moment onwards, Madeline made up her mind to only listen to Maddie, no matter how hard Midge tried to be heard. Madeline chose to believe all of the wonderful things that Maddie said and decided to be happy. Now and then, Midge tried telling Madeline more lies. Shush, Midge, that's enough, said Madeline. I can do it. You can't tell me how to feel anymore. You're rubbish, not me. And just like a bursting bubble, Midge went. Pop! Her voice disappeared and... Well done, Madeline, Maddie sang out. You are so wonderful and brave. You're a superstar. You can do anything. You should be so proud of yourself. Madeline beamed with delight, ran over to Mummy and hugged her tight. Then, with a skip and a smile, she ran outside into the garden to play, happy, giggling, and strong. From that day onwards, there were still times when Midge would try to reappear and make Madeline feel bad. But Madeline was clever. She remembered that she had the magic power inside of her to choose, and she would listen to Maddie and tell Midge to shush. Madeline's days were then filled with laughter, happiness, and love, and the light inside of her shone beautiful and bright once more. The end.